Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm bringing another review and that is of the Galaxy Tab 4 7.0. Now, this one's really interesting because you want to see, did it really improve from last year's model and is it worth it to buy a tablet at this price point for $199 for the Wi-Fi version or even the LTE version being most likely at $299. So, is it really worth it? Well, in a lot of ways, yes, it's a huge improvement over last year's model. So comparing the Tab 3 to the Tab 4, you do have now a quad-core processor, which is much better at 1.2 gigahertz, which means it just moves a lot smoother. You don't have that same lag you had on the Tab 3 at times. It actually does move fairly quickly in the way it operates, and it just doesn't have a lot of hiccups as it did before. It moves fluidly, you can get from screen to screen, and everything just moves fairly quickly in comparison to last year's model. So, big improvement there. Also, on the screen resolution, it's a 720p display now, so much better screen quality, the text comes out better, and it just has a lot finer details in the way it looks when using it. So, a lot more fluidity, and better looking uh, design. Speaking of design, the backing feels a lot better uh, to the touch compared to last year's model and doesn't uh, tend to have that same fingerprint and uh, scratching that happens on previous devices. Now, the other big addition is in software. Last year, we did add the split screen capability, which is still available on here and a lot nicer and easier just pulling from the left side and you have your split screen capability but we added two more features on this device that wasn't available beforehand and that is kids mode which is really great for people that just uh, want to download a separate uh, sphere essentially for their kids they have the ability to add that on there and secondly they added handcom office this is a really, really great feature, which allows you to create, edit, and share real Word documents, real PowerPoint, and real Excel spreadsheets. It does this very well, and it really is much better than anything else that out there on Android that can do a full Office replacement. The formatting is the same, the files are the same, everything is the same compared to Microsoft Office on these programs. So for that reason, definitely stands out. Now you still have the same capability as well with the multi-user sign-in, which is of course available on this version of Android. So you can add multiple users and even add restricted users. Again, for kids, say if you only want them to have access to three or four apps, you can limit them to that access. So really great for those purposes. However, what else do we offer here or what are the shortcomings of the device? Well, definitely uh, one of the biggest shortcomings comes from the camera. It's a three megapixel camera, but more so it's a fixed focus, meaning you cannot attach to focus better. It is what it is, and that's very disconcerting. Now you do add some of the modes uh, from the Samsung devices, but it's just nowhere near as fine tuned. And just for the fact that it's not an improved camera, is really a downgrade uh, in my opinion and one that Samsung could definitely prove on next year's model. Overall though, is it an upgrade? Yes. Is it worth uh, purchasing from a Tab 3 or Tab 4? I would say most definitely. For Handcom Office, the speed improvement and the screen quality alone in my book, it's definitely worth it. But with the additional features of things like kids mode and just uh, having a, a more updated look and more updated software is going to come a long way as you use the device. So I would recommend upgrading from tablet and for a 199 tablet, it really is hard to beat with the exception of the only shortcomings from coming from the camera and the eight gigs of storage, which of course you can add up to 64 gigs with the micro SD card. Hopefully you like this review and if you have any questions about this device, please feel free to ask and give a like thumbs up down below. Thank you for watching. This is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.